the stars look like tiny lights in the sky. But the stars really aren't tiny at all. Every star is a big hot ball of fiery gases, like our sun. All the stars in the night sky are other suns. But the stars we see at night are so far away in space that they just look like tiny lights in our sky. Sometimes, looking at a starry sky makes you think about traveling in space. Let's use our imaginations to travel out into space now, all the way to the moon. Here we are, on the moon. It's very different from Earth. Take a look at the sky. Can you find the sun and quietly point to it? And maybe you can guess what that blue ball in the sky is. That's the Earth, our home in space. You can see our Earth turning very slowly to make day and night, just as we saw in the astronomy room. Let's look around. Here on the moon there are rocks, and mountains, and round holes called craters. But there are no trees, no flowers, no animals, no people, no clouds, no water, and no air. The moon is just a big rock in space. Right now, here on the moon, the sun is shining on us. That means it's daytime on this part of the moon. But notice something strange. The sky is black even in the daytime. Why? Well, on Earth, the daytime sky is blue, or gray if it's cloudy, because Earth has air and clouds. When the sun shines on the air, it makes our sky blue. But here on the moon, there is no air, so the sky is black even in the daytime. The moon is a strange and interesting place, but it gets lonely after a while. So let's have our imaginations take us back home to Earth. Here we are, back on Earth. But the star groups up there right now are not the same ones we learned about earlier. That's because the Earth has been turning. The Earth has turned us to face different star groups. Can you see the sky getting lighter in the east? Something very bright must be about to come up in the eastern sky. I'm sure you know what it is. The sun. Let's watch as the stars fade away. The sky brightens, and the sun rises to begin a brand new day. Thank you.